Hey, hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, bonus review. Uh, I I just uploaded the review for the Maddie Collector Ghostbuster action figures, and you know what? A couple months ago, uh, in August, I went to the Wizard World Comic Con in Chicago, and I found this, and I've been dying to do a review of it, even though it's a really old toy. I don't care. I love it. It deserves a review, and it ties in with my Ghostbusters. So, without further ado, yes, this is the Kenner Ecto One from I believe it was 1985. This came out. Um, I, I already had one. Again, I mentioned that I had the Kenner Ghostbuster toys growing up. I had. Both of both versions of this, I had this version, and then I also had the Ghostbuster 2 version. But I've had those toys for over 20 years, so they're they're well loved. They have some miles on them. Um, I was actually planning on doing a little restoration project with mine to get it looking like this one, um, make it nice and clean and pristine. I was gonna repaint up all the stickers, and I was gonna clean all the the crust and funk off of it, and. Um, but then, you know, I was at Comic-Con and I was walking around with my fiance and we were talking and we turned a corner and I saw this sitting on a stack of comic books. I just, I froze and I was like, <gasps> it's the Ghostbuster Ecto-1. And I just, having a little bit of a fanboy moment, I ran over, I picked it up and I was looking at it and I was like, oh man, this thing is in such good condition. And it really is. Everything is on this car that needs to be there. Um, the only thing it didn't come with, it didn't come with the little orange ghost accessory, but whatever. I have like four or five of those things floating around here. So if I really wanted to, I'd go in the basement, dig around and find it and put it with this. But you know what? I don't care. The car itself is just gorgeous. Um, the guy who had the booth, I wound up asking him how much he was selling it for. And I was expecting him to give me some really high number because I've looked on eBay just out of curiosity, see what these things are going for. Loose like this, I've seen them going for about $150, $200. And then mint in box, mint in box, you're, you're looking to spend about $350. So I was expecting it to be like $100, $150. No, he said he was selling this thing for $40. I looked at my fiance because I had gone up to Comic Con with the intention of buying Doctor Who stuff. I, I went up there with the intent of, of Army building me some Daleks. But when he said, you know, $40 for this, I looked at her. I'm just like, what do you think? And she just, she's like, it's Ghostbusters. You love Ghostbusters. And I'm just like, you know what? Sold. So I bought it. I brought it home. And I'm so happy I got this. Because like I said, this thing is just clean. Um, it has all the stickers. There's no smudges. There's no imperfections. The chrome paint here on the wheels, all of the wheels are... Perfect and all around. Um, it's got the license plate still that says Ecto One. I haven't seen very many of these that still have the license plates. And it's got both of them too. It's got both. That's the Ecto One. They're they're like coming up a little bit around the, the sides, but I want to see if there's a way I can plaster those down so they don't pop off. Um, the stickers too are in real good shape. I don't know if you can see that, but they are. They have aged really, really well. There's not a lot of imperfections on them. Or actually, you know, I take it back. There's one imperfection on the car itself right there. There's a little red smudge. But you know what? It's part, I, I'm not bothered by it. Um, I'm not going to try and figure out how to get rid of it because it's part of the story of the car. And it's in such good shape that I don't mind it. Um, and it comes with the little you know, seat, too, with its blasters. My car, both of my Ectos still have this seat. But I have long since lost those proton cannon things. And it just plugs up in here on the top. Um, rolls really nice. It has that clicky noise. One thing I've noticed about every single Ecto-1 is that it's got this gimmick. Where you come around here to the back. And where is it here? Just hanging up. It's got the claw. This right here. Where you can, you know, you can wrap that around a ghost. And then the gimmick is, it's on the string... And on the underside of the car here, there's this gear attached to the rear axle of the car. Now, what's supposed to happen is that as the car drives, as the wheels spin, it catches this gear, and it winds up the hook. So it's supposed to wind... It's going to take... 
You can kind of see. See how it's, it's supposed to line the claw into the car. But every single Ecto-1 toy I've ever seen, that gimmick does not work. So I don't know if it's a design flaw or if it's just something that's happened with aging, but I've never seen it work. Um, and yeah, you just take this off the top here. And you've got the, the equipment rack. It's all just white. It's not painted. Um, I would like to... I would like to actually find a junker one of these that has all the parts, you know, all the, the doors. Because that's the one thing, another thing I've noticed. You find these things, they're missing the doors, and it's missing parts. And if I could find one, if it didn't have this, oh well. Just as long as it had the doors, because I'd like to get one and paint it up and make it look real nice and customize it. Now that I have this, I've thought about doing it to the one I have. But I don't know, I just, I can't bring myself to... I not really mutilate mine, but I don't know. It's it's just eh, I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, yeah, I just I just wanted to show this off real quick because this is this was a find, and at the price I got it for, it was a steal. So anyway, yeah, there it is, the Kenner Ecto One toy from the Real Ghostbusters. Oh, before I forget, um, just as a little comparison here, in case you were wondering, you can in fact display it with your Maddie collector figures and it doesn't look too bad I mean it's not it's a toy car I mean it's not going to clash if you have the Maddie collector figures and want to display them together obviously if you can find the Hot Wheels like it's I can't remember exactly what it is it's the premium and it's like 1 18th scale that that thing is really nice if you can find that and display it with your figures you'll have a, a completely realistic looking set going on but this as you can tell that display is real nice that display is real nice that's that's how I have it on my shelf I've got Ecto-1 in the back and then I've got all four busters standing in front of it and it looks real sharp so anyway there you go now the review is over the Kenner Ecto-1